in a very famous narration, the saying of the prophet, the prophet say, you do not attain paradise until you have faith, until you believe, until you have iman. And you will not attain the iman until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he qualified his own statement again, in which he make it a bit more general in order for us to understand his teaching. In which he say, for those of you who want to be saved from the hellfire and enter paradise, then treat other people the way how you love to be treated by others. And Islam do not only talk about the relationship with God, and we believe God is love, God is merciful. But Islam go beyond that by talking about there is no good in your love to God and how much God loves you if you do not manifest it in your daily life. And you can ask almost every single Muslim around the world that they will tell you Islam, you can divide into two main categories of teaching. Hablu min Allah, which is the relationship with God, Allah, the Creator, and Hablu min nas. Nas in Arabic refer to man, manusia. You do not have faith. And you can see, whenever the Prophet say about love towards another being, he always refer to iman because this is both. It comes along. You cannot only have faith without action. So, brother and sister, the Prophet say, you do not have faith if you sleep with a full tummy, but yet your neighbors sleep in hunger. But how can you know your neighbors sleep in hunger if you do not talk to one another, if you do not communicate with one another, if you do not love one another? So, in Islam, definitely, there is a teaching of love toward the society and for the general good. 